Hello there. This is the second part of our solar system, CBAC, class 6, social science. Let us understand thoroughly so that in future we will be the great person or great scientist. These planets, we have to memorize these sentence. My very efficient mother just served us nuts. My very efficient mother just served us nuts. Nuts. M for dash. V for dash. E for dash. M for dash. J for dash. S for dash. U for dash. N for dash. You have to feel them and you will be get memorized with nine planets where the beginning of each word is the same as the first letter of the planet existing at that position in the order till august 2006 pluto was also a planet but it is now recognized as a dwarf planet Further, we will understand what is dwarf planet, what is God particle and so on. The shape of the earth is called a geoid. This means it is not perfectly spherical since it is flattened at the, at the poles. The earth is probably the only planet that can support life. This is because its temperature, resources like water and oxygen etc. are present in the proportions appropriate for life. The earth with its two-third of surface covered with water appears blue from space and is called blue planet. Our mother earth is also called blue planet. The moon's diameter is one fourth of that of the earth. It is 3,84,400 kilometer away from earth. It completes a revolution around the earth in about 27 days. Our Earth takes 366 days or 65 days. Incidentally, it is also takes around the same time for a rotation about its own axis. It does not support life. Moon has no life. There are several other tiny bodies in the space. The asteroids, that is called asteroids that move around the sun. There is a belt of such objects called the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. There exist small pieces of rocks. They are called metroids. At night you, you might have seen falling star. What are they? They are metroids which also move around the sun. The Milky Way is the galaxy, a huge system of billions of stars we live in. The Milky Way is further a part of a bigger collection of galaxies called the universe. I hope you have understood up to here. Now let us understand the terminology of this chapter one by one. What do you mean by celestial body? An object in the universe but not on the earth is said to be a celestial body. Examples are sun, earth, moon, stars, etc. What do you mean by star? A celestial body that is characterized by using very hot and big and made of various kinds of gases is called a star. A star typically has 
its own heat and light. It doesn't require any light from other celestial body. Now, next terminology is full moon night. What do you mean by full moon night? A night when the moon is visible from the, from the earth as a full sphere is called the full moon night and it occurs once a month. Now let us understand new moon night. What do you mean by new moon night? The 15th night after the full moon night when the moon is not visible at all in the sky is called the new moon night. What do you mean by constellation? A group of several stars which can usually be recognized by a definite pattern is called a constellation. For example, Ursa Major, Scorpio and so on. What do you understand by planets? A celestial body which revolves around a particular star in an orbit and gets all its light from the star is called a planet. Earth is also a planet. Jupiter is also a planet. Means all eight celestial bodies that exist in our solar system are called planet. What do you mean by satellite? A celestial body which revolves around a planet in a particular orbit is called a satellite. The moon is a satellite of the earth. Do you know how many satellites Jupiter has? Yes, it has 12 satellites. Means 12 moons it has. So interesting. Now, next terminology is orbit. What do you mean by orbit? The particular and definite elliptical path in which a planet or satellite always remains is called the orbit of that planet or satellite means the path by which it revolves around the planet or the Sun is called orbit next one what do you mean by Sun the Sun is a star that acts as the head of the solar system and around which all planets revolve Note that the sun is not at, at the center of the orbit. Instead, it is like in the figure above given. It is given in your book. See it and you will understand. It is not in the center. What do you mean by inner planets? Okay, next terminology is inner planets. The inner planets are the planets that orbit around the sun, between the sun and the asteroid belt that is are close to the sun these are mercury venus earth and mars now next terminology we have is outer planets what do you mean by outer planets the outer planets are the planets that orbit the sun beyond the asteroid belt that is are very far away from the sun these are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Next terminology is geoid. What do you mean by geoid? The shape of the earth is called a geoid. A geoid is a spherical except for the flat, flattening at two places di diametrically opposite to each other. Okay, next one is, next terminology is poles. What do we mean by poles? The two places diametrically opposite to each other and which lie on the axis about which a spherical body rotates are called poles. Okay, next terminology is asteroids. What do you mean by asteroid? A large number of tiny celestial bodies 
which move around the sun and are mainly present in a belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter are called asteroids. Means you might have seen in Discovery Channel, it is a body, it is a physical body of the space. It, is, it has been revolving around the sun or some of them are revolving around the sun. Some of them are in the galaxy, other galaxy too. Okay. Now let us understand what do you mean by metroid. A small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called metroids. Or it is a small pieces of sand, very small piece. And it, it has been revolving around the sun. Okay, now next one, that is galaxy. What do you understand by galaxy? A galaxy is a collection of innumerable stars. Most stars have their own families, like the solar system. The Milky Way is the galaxy in which we live. Okay, there are number of galaxies in the post on the cosmos. We even don't able to count them. Scientists have been trying to count them, yet it is very difficult to count them. When you grow up, you will sure, surely will able to count how many galaxies are there on the sky. Now, next terminology is universe. The universe is the largest unit in which we live. It is a collection of galaxies. Okay, me 